Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Some Rhode Islanders are fighting old court costs in court. When Rhode Island court sent out more than 250,000 letters to collect $81 million in delinquent court costs, our Call 12 for Action Center was flooded with phone calls and emails from people who said they already paid. A spokesperson for the court told us there is the possibility that some letters were sent in error. Hearings are scheduled for the people disrupting, disputing the charges. Now, the first hearings happen today. Let's get to Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell for the details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Our camera was not allowed in the courtroom today, but I sat through the hearings. About 60 people showed up to argue old court costs. 990, 560. A few weeks ago, Ken Richardson got these letters. Add them up, the court said Ken owed almost $4,000 in delinquent court costs, most of them from 1988. How can this come back 30 years later? But it did. Like dozens of others, Richardson scheduled a hearing to contest the charges. He didn't have any receipts or other documentation to prove he had paid, but after the magistrate heard Ken's story, he cut the court costs in half. Ken promised to pay within two months. You feel like that's fair? It is fair. Stephen Davis says he also paid his court costs years ago, but he didn't have documentation either. 25 years, how can I prove it? Because his case was so old and because Davis hasn't been in trouble since, the magistrate reduced the bill to $150. Davis paid it off right away. Yeah, I'm paying it because it's just I don't want any aggravation. Most of the other people who showed up in court were put on payment plans. Richard Watts is going to pay $30 a month, and the magistrate promised to reevaluate the case in a few months as long as Watts keeps up his payments. I'm trying to change my life around to better myself. It's going to do what I have to do. As we reported earlier this month, in all, the state sent out 276,000 letters in an effort to collect $81 million in delinquent court costs. Under state law, the court is authorized to post the names of all of the people who don't pay up. But because so many people are contesting the charges, there will be similar hearings throughout the month of April. I asked a spokesperson for the court how much money has been collected so far. He said an estimated figure wouldn't be available for a couple of weeks. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.